song continues to reinvigorate Chicago's sound side. Gabby with Next Gen Real Estate and Property Management serving Chicagoland in selling, buying, and managing properties. And if you enjoy content like this, please let me know by subscribing and hitting that like button. As always, you can find a link below to schedule a free consultation with me. Today, I will discuss the latest updates on Bronzeville Lakefront. We previously discussed this much anticipated and community driven development in the Bronzeville community. Check out our previous video right here. So let's get down to business. Here are the five significant updates in Bronzeville Lakefront. Number one, Grip recently partnered with the leading real estate services company, JLL, to sell and to market the Bronzeville Lakefront mega development. JLL has a wealth of experience selling difficult commercial real estate projects, which will be crucial to its partnership with Grip. Due to its scale and intricacy, the Bronzeville Lakefront will take around 20 years to complete. Number two, Chicago Arc has begun accepting tenants. Chicago Arc, which has been focusing on healthcare setups in order to bring out solutions beneficial for both local and global communities, has now begun accepting tenants, primarily leaning towards equality amidst diversity. Potential tenants will receive a tailored approach with a customer-driven network. They will also make Illinois a gateway for global investment. The flagship tenants include the Israeli firm, Sheba Medical Center, ADOC, Bell and laser and a panned medical. The permanent Chicago Arc facility is set to open in 2023, but right now it will operate out of interim space. Three, Brownsville Lakefront is turning neighborhood into a medical boom. Brownsville Lakefront aims to cater to healthcare needs of the people living on Chicago's South Side. Especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, Illinois placed intensive focus on all medical related issues. And this mega development turns the Brownsville neighborhood into a medical mecca for not only its residents, but also other communities and need. Here, Grit aspires to build an inclusive and health community in the future. Regina Stilp of Farpoint Development, part of GRIT, said that Bronzeville Lakefront, especially the Bronzeville Innovation Center, will enable Chicago to finally compete with the gigantic life science clusters in Boston, San Francisco, and San Diego. They want to help the countless scientists and lab workers graduating each year from local universities to stay in Illinois. In essence, they aim to solve the brain drain and outbound migration from the state. We're hoping through our efforts, including pretty extensive internships and apprenticeship, you will see career growth and on a path. There are $100,000 jobs, 40% of which you can get with a GED, she says. Chicagoland continues to position itself as a leader in healthcare by creating life science hubs in its mega developments, such as the Bronzeville Lakefront, Lincoln Yards, the 78th, and the Illinois Science and Technology Park. In Brownsville, in particular, there is a boom in incorporating old and new techniques to improve the overall patient experience. Number four, a new bill would make Chicago's Brownsville neighborhood a national heritage area. Recently, Congress introduced a bill to establish the Brownsville Black Metropolis National Heritage Area as a living monument to the Great Migration and Chicago's Black Metropolis. A National Parks Subcommittee is currently reviewing HR 670 by U.S. Representative Bobby Rush of Illinois and S 511 by Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois. Before the House and Senate vote on them, respectively. The idea of creating a historical area in this area is not new. It was already in the works since 2005. An earlier bill was submitted in 2016, but was unsuccessful. The most recent bill would outline the district's boundaries as roughly spanning from the Lake Michigan to Washington Park and the Dan Ryan to the west and from 18th Street to 71st Street to the north. And number five, Northwestern Medicine will have a location near the Brownsville Lakefront mega development. Northwestern Medicine will have a brand new outpatient center in Brownsville. They plan this to be 
in the 4800 block of South Cottage Grove Avenue. Over 50,000 patients and their families from Bronzeville and the nearby communities would receive care at the hospital each year. This development will also create 100 jobs in healthcare and allied industries and 1,000 jobs in the construction industry. Depending on regulatory approval, construction might begin in the summer of 2023, with an anticipated opening in the summer of 2025. Bronzeville Lakefront is one of the most popular mega developments in Chicagoland, for good reason. It is a community-driven, each part catering to the specific needs of the community. It will make Bronzeville a medical mecca and historic metropolis. And these are just a few updates from the most anticipated mega project in 2022. So what do you think about these latest Bronzeville Lakefront updates? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We love to read them all. Thanks for watching and as always, where's your future?